Hey, welcome to another video with Blocks Builder. And in this video, uh, we're going to look at how we can set individual timings per slide in our carousel brick. And it's been a while since we have done a video. Um, I've been rather busy with some projects and some family stuff. So I'm looking forward to um, getting back into it and I hope to return to doing regular videos. So if you have some ideas or things you'd like to see, please let me know. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So right in this basic project, and this is a Bootstrap 5 project that I have here, we have a basic carousel brick and I have three slides, one, two, and three. And um, the interesting thing with our carousel settings here on our right hand panel is there's only a couple of things that we can set per slide. So our transitions, alignments, caption, duration, autoplay, all that is uh, per carousel. What we can change per slide is the image and our alt text. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, as you can see, I've got different alt text per slide here. And this carousel is set for a duration of 2000, which is 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. So if I go and preview this, we'll see our three slides uh, change through at two second intervals. Right, so what we're going to do in our example is we're going to keep our first and our last slide at 2 seconds and we're going to set the middle one to 9 seconds. Uh, and we can do that really easily. So first we're going to uh, grab the data attribute that we're going to use to do this and then I'm going to show you how to apply it to the carousel. And um, the good thing is, is that this is all built into Bootstrap so it's really easy. Right, so here I am at the getbootstrap.com website. That's getbootstrap.com. And I am in the version 5 of the docs. Uh, you can switch down here to version 4, the older docs. And this process, how I'm going to find this information is the same, depending on, regardless of what version you're using. But the attribute is going to be different depending if you're using Bootstrap 5 or Bootstrap 4. So we're going to look at Bootstrap 5, but we will also look at briefly at the end of this video at Bootstrap 4 um, and the attribute you can use. So I'm just going to click on Docs up here and I'm going to do a quick search for Carousel. And our second item here, Carousel Interval, is the one we're after. And at the very top we can actually see the attribute that we're after. It's called data BS interval and then we can apply a value and to see it in action if we come down here to this example in the code here this div here we can see our carousel item like in in our blocks canvas and uh, our image in the middle there and we can see our attribute there data BS interval and that's been set to 1000 or one second so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this attribute and we're going to come back to our canvas and we're going to apply it to our middle slide. So if you remember, we've set our entire ca um, carousel to two th 2000, two seconds. And then whatever um, slide we apply this attribute to will then override our carousel setting and it will um, stay for that duration. So I'm just going to expand our carousel and then our inner container. And you'll see I've got a shadow class there. That's also a bootstrap class. Just gives a nice shadow around our um, carousel here. And inside our inner container, you can see we've got three items, carousel items that represent each one of our slides. And if you expand that, you'll see our image and caption area. So on uh, that's our first slide. And this one here is our second slide. This is the one I'm going to add the attribute to. So we can do that on the right hand panel. I'm just going to add the, click the plus symbol. The name we've got, we've copied from the Get Bootstrap website, data BS interval, and let's do that for 9000, which is nine seconds. So it's nice and long, so you can see it apply. And let's have a preview of that. So our first one there is two seconds. And then our second slide is going to hold for nine seconds, which is probably too long. Maybe I should have done a baby seven seconds. And then it'll go into our third slide, which will be two seconds. Okay, so there we have, we can define our times per slide. Let's go and add one to our final slide. So let's give it a duration of seven seconds. Our first slide there, two seconds, 
through to nine seconds. And then our last one will be seven seconds long before it loops through to the first slide once again. It's a long time when you're watching it. Right. So it's as simple as that to add the individual slide timings. Now, if you're using Bootstrap 4 in your project, the, the process is exactly the same. The, the attribute name is slightly different. So if we go back to our Bootstrap docs here, and I'm going to change our version to version 4, and I'm going to search for carousel again, carousel item interval, and there we see our attribute for uh, Bootstrap 4. It's just data interval instead of data BS interval. So if you copy and paste that one into your Bootstrap 4 project, again, add the value, you'll be able to control individual slides per in your carousel. Okay, simple as that. Have a fantastic day. Take care.